Hey, Governor, it's Chelsea Helms with KWA Fox 24 in Fayetteville. Attorney General Leslie Rutledge posted several photos of herself last night on Twitter at the RNC. She was, of course, pictured alongside others who represent Arkansas. Uh, in those photos, it's very clear there's no social distancing or masks being worn. So what message does this send to Arkansans when state leaders aren't following guidelines that they're encouraging? I don't know all the circumstances of that event. I know that when I went to the White House, I had to have a, a, a test done. Uh, and so hopefully those type of precautions uh, were taken. Uh, it is uh, important uh, to set the right example. It's important to uh, wear a mask. And uh, that's what Dr. Romero is certainly uh, advocating. We need to continue to, to do that and lead in that, because that's the tool we have. If we don't have that, uh, then all of a sudden we're having to sh uh, you know, put restrictions on economic activity, on schools, and it has all kinds of consequences. So uh, that is the, the right message, that we need to uh, continue to be disciplined, self-disciplined, self-restraint in terms of wearing a mask and protecting ourselves. Uh, next Governor question. Mike, Governor Mike McNeil, MagnoliaReporter.com. Was Attorney General Rutledge setting the right example or not? I have been with uh, Attorney General Rutledge numerous times, and she always is wearing a mask. She's setting the, she's doing exactly what she should do. Uh, that's the, my, has been my experience with that, and so uh, we need to continue to do that. Well, Governor, bouncing off that was that if you get tested, you need to be quarantined for 14 days, and you just implied that because at the uh, RNC they may have been tested, that it's okay. So what is the clear message here? Do we get tested? And if we test negative, we are okay to go out in public, like Attorney General Leslie Rutledge? What do you think? So um, I, I also do not know the specific circumstances around the testing for the event, if there was any. Um, if our recommendations for isolation are for individuals that suspect they have been exposed to or have been exposed to and, or do have symptoms that are suggestive of COVID and are tested, they are suspected to be infected, okay? And they should be isolated for the appropriate length of time, 14 days. Now, I, I don't know what the logic is around the circumstances that were tested in Washington, but if they were testing those individuals, they had no symptoms, no exposure to anyone, had no um, risk factor for acquiring COVID, and it was part of a screening process, then perhaps in that case, it is acceptable not to go into quarantine. Does it make if I, if I answer that question for you. Yes, sir. Thank you.